This is a uh, the F essay 4A, Advantages and Disadvantages, but the opinion version, not the essay 1A, which is Advantages and Disadvantages, the expository version. So in this version, uh, the question asks for an opinion. Do you think this trend has more advantages or disadvantages? Um, or it could be, do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, okay? Whatever it is, whatever phrasing uh, it, it has, uh, the, the thing is that you need to take a position. Uh, and the way I teach it in my phrases and notes for all the different essays um, is that you have five paragraphs, three body paragraphs, okay? There are two essays with five paragraphs. One is opinion. And the other one is this essay, okay? So just taking a look at this very quickly, you only have four paragraphs. Uh, so this is not, I, I wouldn't say it's really good. I would follow my way, which is that you have the first body paragraph is the weaker position. So if you say the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, then you talk about the disadvantages. Then you have two more paragraphs for the stronger position. Um, advantages so it's very clear that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages okay so uh, yeah that, that is the way I would structure it to really make it clear that one side outweighs the other one side there are more of one than the other okay so uh, this structure is probably not that good uh, in terms of word count you have too many words uh, 407 words okay so again that's too long right uh, I think that's that's too long okay so let's go to the essay nowadays the interaction of people to one another uh, with if interaction with someone has changed due to the advancement of technology and communication undoubtedly this fat now what do you mean by this fat mm, I wouldn't say it's a fat. a fat is something that you know comes and goes very quickly but the advancement of technology is something that's going to happen and continue continually happen I mean Technology is just going to get more and more advanced. So it's not, I wouldn't call this a fad. Um, you could just say this brings, this development if you want. Okay. Brings significant benefits to us, but this institutes. Now I'm not sure what you mean by institutes. Okay. Numerous disadvantages that outweigh the advantages so I'm not sure I, we don't use the word institutes but um, bring significant so again you can do this your own way or you could use my phrasing which is something like uh, in my opinion the advantages outweigh the disadvantage well, for, for you here you're trying to say that the disadvantages outweigh okay um, so I wouldn't use, so your position is the disadvantages, basically there are more disadvantages than advantages. That's why you start with one advantage and then you have two more body paragraphs for disadvantages. Okay, that's how you should structure the essay. So institutes, okay, no, not, but this institutes, this, uh, this one brings, but, hmm. If you're not, let's go to. I'm not sure whether you have disadvantage here. Okay, so what kind of verb could you use? I mean, maybe it doesn't really. Yeah, not not. I would again just use my phrase. So, whatever may be, in my opinion, the disadvantages outweigh the advantages. Okay. Okay, that will be the best, all right? Uh, beyond question, the new telecommunications offer, uh, new telecommunications offer an efficient way to do things with quick results. Firstly, it enables us to communicate instantly anywhere in the world anytime. This applies to both personal and work-related matters. For instance, if there are emergencies or other errands that require uh, you don't require because attention is not countable, so it's no n. 
uncountable no end there so just require urgent attention you can reach the person involved right away assistance and help can be can be then offered immediately in addition so you have you're giving advantage first advantage second advantage do you see that first advantage second advantage you have two advantages and then after that you have I don't know probably two to go and read this but um, well, if you have two here and two here then it doesn't show clearly how one outweighs the other right okay but of course if you have two here and you have three here then okay I mean that that's you know I will understand that you, you, you your view is that you have there are more advan disadvantages than advantages so if you have two and three that's fine but if you have two and two then you know I think there are better ways uh, uh, to do it and uh, to structure this essay like I mentioned in addition it provides us also it provides us now um, provides us with okay you don't provide us news you provide us with I would say it also provides us with news current issues entertainment around the world via SMS or networking and uh, one thing I have to say is that uh, a lot of your sentences are pretty long okay so it can get a bit confusing we are updated on the weather condition uh, as well and some notices or warnings especially if there are calamities way back okay when this fat again it's not fat okay it's now you're talking about way back in the past so it should be was not especially it took way back it took remember your tenses all in the past could reach a person just to read a message as a result it caused all past simple tense business and human lives were okay so the tense I've just corrected the tense okay then I got to talk about the fat this is not fat okay because this is not a fat uh, you could say um, when such technology was not available yet it took time before you could reach a person just to relay a message as a result it caused what do you mean by it caused business downfall Okay, uh, I'm not very comfortable with the expression, and human lives were also lo were lost also at times. Okay, but I don't know. You have to change this. On the other hand, various drawbacks may be noted. One of them is the way people are behaving now with the use of this high technology. No, I would say modern or advanced technology. Um, personal relationships are being affected. We notice personal interaction is, is lacking now between friends and relatives for example if one family gathers for dinner or for other occasions family members rarely talk to each other anymore they do not mingle with the rest of the clan during and after the gathering everybody is holding their own mobile phones tablets you see it's, it's kind of long okay that, that's the reason why you have too many words and they are busy accessing the social media um, applications not just one and communicating with other friends instead. If they want to express something to family members and friends, they use mobile phones to chat with emoticons. Personal touch. You could say personal touch has vanished or is vanishing. Okay, but not vanish. It can also be argued that through this modernization, various crimes have arisen. Now, this is all about your tense. Okay, they use whose day? People maybe are using these multimedia applications to commit legal acts. Thus, not only have personal interact, not only, uh, not only is the personal interaction hurt emo. Now, nobody hurts personal interaction emotionally. Okay. Um, 
uh, students try to use the not only but very often they use it wrongly so I wouldn't I wouldn't use it okay thus not only um, is personal interaction decreasing but there are dangers there are also dangers involved if technology is abused something like that all right while there are strong arguments on both sides my opinion is that as this communication technology offers us more perks and advancement it should not be the source of destruction in our life now the problem with this you hear the opinion stated remember the first thing you have to do and if you again you, have, you that's why I try to follow um my phrase escape because you, my phrase here in the first sentence in conclusion okay and then you take that position re restate your position about the advantages being more outweighing the disadvantage or the disadvantages outweighing the advantages okay uh this whole sentence does not give me a position it does not tell me what is more than the other it just says that technology offers perks but it should not not it should not destroy our lives but it has nothing it doesn't say anything about which one that we, whether you think there are more advantages or disadvantages okay so you have to state that opinion very clearly remember when you have an opinion essay uh, essay with one of the questions questions is an opinion question you have to state in the introduction in the thesis and the the first sentence in conclusion then state your um, position okay so you should state that so in conclusion um, my opinion is that there are more advantages and disadvantages then you can say I would strongly recommend uh, that we sh focus on our personal relationship which is most and minimize the time spent not into you spend on something all right spend on something okay so uh, get your structure correct the um, the essay is a bit too long and some of the sentences are also too long all right and use my phrases so you will have uh, a lot of places whereby there are no grammar mistakes okay that's the purpose of uh, having my phrases the purpose of me producing all these phrases uh, for you guys to use so make sure you use them um, and uh, you will have a lot of sentences which a few sentences at least with with with, with no grammar mistakes okay